Russian subs could knock out the UK's data cables. Last year, one of the UK's top military dudes warned Russia could attack the country's economy via the internet, but what would that look like? Trade, business, communication and nations rely largely on deep-sea data cables to function. These global links connect the planet's information. But they're very vulnerable. In December 2017, Britain's top military officer, Sir Stuart Peach, warned NATO must safeguard them as a priority due to threats presented by Russia's navy. In international waters, the cables are in a legally gray area, meaning an attack on them may not trigger NATO collective defense, and the cables can be easily destroyed via small explosives, according to the Center for International Maritime Security. If successful, an attack would damage a country's economy and bring their communications network to a halt. Stick around for more on Russia's military. Hasta la vista, comrade! The future of Russian artificial intelligence is here. And it can dual-wield handguns. Gulp. The final experimental demonstration object research robot, or FEDER for short, is capable of accurately firing two pistols at the same time. Come 2021, Moscow expects to see FEDOR models aboard the ISS and helping cosmonauts tackle space missions. The machine can operate automatically or can be controlled by a human. Initially developed for rescue operations, Russia hopes to use FEDOR for military and educational purposes as well. Russia's deputy prime minister tweeted footage of the robot shooting guns in April. He said they're not making a Terminator, but artificial intelligence. Well, that's a relief, right? Uh, right? Russia goes full Bond villain. A leaked Pentagon document says Russia is working on an underwater drone nuke. The autonomous underwater vehicle, dubbed Canyon by the US, was conceived to target coastal areas. Russia reportedly refers to it as Ocean Multipurpose System Status 6. The warhead measures 5.5 feet wide and is 79 feet long. According to Popular Mechanics, it has a range of 6,200 miles and can dive to over 3,000 feet and travel at 100 knots. The device can also wield the 100 megaton nuclear payload and reportedly contains the radioactive isotope Cobalt-60. That means an area struck by it would be dangerously radioactive to humans for around a century. Take a look at Russia's new Arctic military base. The Russian Defense Ministry has released a virtual tour of the country's new Arctic military base. Russia's new military base has been built on Alexandra Land, an island in the Franz Josef Land Archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. The 14,000 square meter base is built on stilts, which are designed to help it withstand extreme cold weather. The base will house 150 personnel on an 18-month period of duty. It is also equipped with a clinic, library, chapel, gym, and cinema. Military experts say the new base will help Russia to control international shipping on the northern sea route and protect the country's oil and gas resources in the Arctic. Russian President Vladimir Putin visited the new base last month. The country is building four more military bases in the Arctic region. Russia shows off its new weapon. The Russians have test-launched a new hypersonic missile that's been described by President Vladimir Putin as an ideal weapon. Russia's Kinzhal missile was launched from a MiG-31 interceptor jet that took off from an airfield in the southern military district. Video footage released by the country's defense ministry shows the missile detaching from the jet in mid-air. The Kinzhal hypersonic missile travels at 10 times the speed of sound, with a range of over 2,000 kilometers. The launch was reportedly successful, with the missile hitting the preset target. The Kinzhal is part of a new line of weapons unveiled during Putin's recent State of the Nation address that can reportedly outmaneuver U.S. defenses.